Right there's the actual building. I, I don't know if they keep bodies over there in the back. I'm not really for sure. I'm not going to go in there. It's authorized only. William Bass, Forensic Anthropology Building. Right there's where it all happened. See, one time, this was nothing but a, just a field out here. It didn't have anything. I mean, the doctor, he actually had no land, and he put people in closets and around the buildings and say, hey, we can't have that happen. He goes, well, I need some land. So he finally got some land and, you know, at first they didn't have a lot, didn't have any money and they went out there and kind of the students and all built fences and you know, did all kind of cool stuff here and uh, put bodies, about in 87's when this happened and they put, started putting bodies and getting research and, you know, on forensics and criminology and, and once uh <clears throat> once the fbi though and a lot of these worldwide organizations of criminology got a grasp of it then they got some recognition then they got some money and now it is what it is today and there's many of these all over campuses today but i believe this is one of the first ones the bought they call it the body farm but it's actually you know got a lot of forensics and bodies laying around there's a bunch of bodies up there laying around kind of behind this building up to the right up there but it's highly security they got cameras out there and so you wouldn't want to go mess around there plus i mean who'd want to be messing around some bodies out there but you know they do have these are donors that people gave their bodies for science and you know they do want to respect the the dead and the bodies out there so they don't want anybody messing with them and that's a good deal there this whole thing's a good deal kind of creepy but it helped out a lot in science science and death you might say meet together here later man all right so right over there is the anthropology ut research center and the body farm might say it's right here. Now you can see most definitely through this concertina wire and the wood fence that they don't want anybody in here. It's really it's high security. But there's where bodies are. Laying on top of the ground. When you come through here, it's cold today, about 40. If you come through here, you know, approximately, like when it gets hot during the summer, you can you can actually smell some of the de decomp uh, decomposing bodies in here. But they're all just like under the ground a little bit or laying on top of the ground, just different places, leaves on top of them. They got different, like ones with maggots on. I mean, they're they're, it's a research facility. You know, it's um, been around for a long time. But that's basically where it is right there. It comes right around. There's about yeah, three acres or so up there. But that's the body right up there.